Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in past couple of days, I was learning this framework SolidJS and for that I was doing some tinkering around my Emacs to make it com compatible with TypeScript. Okay, so in order to do that, I was, I ended up rewriting my config uh, in org mode and uh, let me open my Firefox and uh, let me just show you my configuration quickly. So this is my config and yes, I'm genuinely showing you this. It's not like I'm flexing my org mode or anything okay so yeah uh, so it's not even well written as you can see i'm not using use package correctly and instead of learning typescript i mean i learned typescript and the solid js but you know instead of doing that i ended up learning a lot about emacs and i started to learn elisp and now i know it so there are a lot of functions i wrote uh, myself so and i learned a lot of cool stuff about emacs in past couple of days so let me just show you if i press ctrl x b and go to scratch buffer so today in this video i just want to just teach a few things like show you how elisp like having a little bit knowledge of elisp can help you uh, with your emacs how you can extend your emacs uh, according to you so there is this article by stallman um how do I do my computing? And he wrote a few things about Lisp. So the most powerful programming language is Lisp. If you don't know Lisp, you don't know what it means to a programming language to be powerful and elegant. Once you learn Lisp, you will uh, see what is language and most other language, okay? So this motivated me to learn Elisp. That's why I'm showing you. And there is this GNU Elisp manual, which you can follow and it's uh, pretty good. So every time I want to know about something, I just, you know, when I get bored, I just look into this page and I learn something new every time. So that's a good about a good thing about learning something new. Whatever you learn, it's, um, you know, it's a new thing. You don't know about it. So it's always a plus. So uh, uh, speaking about plus, so how do we plus two numbers? So you just have to type the operator and then the argument. And this is the only idea in Elisp which you have to know. This is so cool. Like okay i'm not trying to teach you i just i'm just trying to show you like few things so once you get this idea you just type one function and then the arguments okay and these brackets are always there okay so scratch buffer is a buffer which always present in emacs and you can evaluate lisp in it and um, it it is running lisp mode currently so if i go into the end of my uh, bracket and type control x control e it will evaluate it so you can see it's three here so two plus one three so instead of writing like this okay uh, instead of writing like this we write like this okay so how do we do board math stuff so for example if i want to do this um, plus two three okay so this is equivalent to this so if uh if we do two plus one minus two uh plus three so instead of writing like this you have to get your head wrapped around uh this okay so going to the end of the bracket uh whatever we want to evaluate control x e and you can see minus two is there and it's also showing in octal and hacks but uh we don't care about it maybe we do okay so this is cool and i learned a lot of cool things like how to write our own function so in this video let me try to show you one really cool thing which you can do with emacs you're going to learn something new in case if you are an emacs newbie okay so uh, my function okay so this is how you can write your function here so this is like the so if you know python so uh, my function so instead of writing this in emacs you write this okay or, or the better example would be if you like uh, okay forget it forget other languages so my func so let's do something here there is this uh function message which we can run so first we type function name and then hello world okay let me just run it outside first so control x e and you can see we got the message in the bottom how cool it is so we can just paste it here and now i can evaluate this control x e and now we got my func because we just evaluated a function okay so it, it just returned the function name and now we can just type function and uh, going to the end these brackets are always there keep this in mind okay control x e and we got hello world 
so this is how look at this we wrote our own function okay and if i want to run this function uh like this okay whoa there is no my func that's sad i want to run it from here okay so suppose if i'm editing a file and i just want to run this function i cannot run it well i can i just have to type interactive here all right if you type interactive in any function it will become interactive now if i reevaluate it don't forget to reevaluate it going to the end of the buffer uh, sorry the bracket control x e and then now if i'm somewhere i just type my func and as you can see we are getting it okay we are getting my func in our you know mx this is cool all right so let me show you something more cool so there is this insert function which i can run anything and if i evaluate this going to the end of the line control x e as you can see we just added anything in our buffer so you can add any character uh add any char into the current buffer remove this anything again end of the uh, bracket control x e and uh, we can as you can see we added some text in our buffer so this is quite useful so for example i write some blocks and every time i write some blocks i want to link my website okay so what i can do is insert https workswriter.com and suppose if i just first okay wait uh my site link url okay so just evaluate this function now suppose if i am you know in code website content uh, writing something in my website okay uh, not website like your yeah, blog or anything all right so my website and i can just type uh my site url so this is the function and as you can see we can just type my site url and it's get printing or i can just run this another function global set key and uh, i can just now it's asking for some it's prompting for some key binding so let me press ctrl c and ctrl w so it's uh, asking for the command name now so my site url enter okay now i just have to write ctrl c w ctrl c w ctrl c w and as you can see it's uh, printing my website so this is so useful like you can there are tons of use cases for this so let me just show you one but wait first we have to learn about list a little so there is this uh, how to make list in uh, elisp okay so list is like arrays so as you can see this is a list but this is not a list actually because if i try to run it so it's a, it will see two as a function and then these two as an argument because this is the basics okay first we type the function name and then we give the argument okay sometimes we just type the function name because there is no argument so for example our function there is no argument so if i want to run it so it's just the function name uh you are control x e okay so all right so for example if uh, if I make a function with my name, all right, and uh, let's use this new function format, which is just like printf. So my name is Joani Jo. Okay, so all right, so yeah, my name, and uh, let's just give that argument. All right, so let's just execute. Wait. Oh, never forget to reevaluate your function after you do some change. Okay, so as you can see, we are getting. So try not to see this uh, horrible screen. Okay, so yeah, it's working. So this is how you do arguments. And if if you want to do two arguments, so first name. I don't know if this work. I haven't tested this. Last name. Uh, first name. I haven't tested. Uh, this this could go wrong. Okay, I haven't tested it all right oh, okay it's not working i don't know how to do two names right now i'm still learning okay let me just remove this okay so this is our how do i make list okay that was my first question so you have to type this okay so this is a short form for this so this is how you make list so this is first you type code and then you give this bracket in this all right so as you can see uh, this is our list so instead of typing this we can also type this uh, and this is our list 
uh, we can use this list so if i want one element out of this list like this first element so another brackets and then car car is like for first element so why i don't know car means some registers like uh i don't know okay so if you just want a list except this first element so cdr and this is just going to give except the first element okay so the, this is weird but you might think how like you might find this entire language weird but it's actually quite good like it's uh, i am enjoying it okay and it's very simple you might that's that's surprising for me i thought like list will be very complicated but list turn out to be uh, very simple so you can type concat okay and you can concat two things so like first name and then and as you can see these two become one and now what you can do is you can type set q which is um, how you assign a variable so, so for example if i type set q and name and uh, or wait uh, house no plane mundus so run it and now plane is mundus okay so if i type message and then plane and run it so it, it is going to uh, print mundus because this is a variable now all right so yeah i think okay for all right so set q and then a uh, full name and concat run it so now full name is you know like suraj space kusha okay so that's cool like how to do variable it's done a uh, lot of stuff is done so let me show you my config again and uh, oh, web wait a second log diary there are so much going on here let me just show you a few things so let me copy this function from here to here so this is a function i wrote and let me show you like how you can extend your emails so first of all let's just see this so you, there is this function find file and this is very cool so we, you use this function all the time when you type control xf uh, it gives us this prompt so this is the same function so what this function actually do is if you give any file name like temp uh, test.txt any path and if i run it control x e it's going to make that buffer all right so it's test.txt you can type anything here and it's not saved right now all right so when i save this the file get created right now it's just a buffer so let me go back to my scratch okay so this find file all right so what i can do now is uh so here what i did okay so let me just show you so this is a function log diary which i made for myself and what it do is it's an interactive function i just showed you what this is and then we, i'm setting a variable file name so i'm making a file name for myself and uh, i'm concatenating three strings so this is first string and uh, i think this is wrong so my website path is this currently okay so yeah now it's correct so this is the first string which is the base path for my diary and then this is this another function format time string so always remember so first the function name and then the argument okay so there is this function format time string i googled this okay so as you can see let's just run it and see how we got the current uh, date and time uh, with the exact same format which you mentioned here so i think it's pretty simple you can get this so this is just to create a date time string and this is the function so we run we ran this function here and then in the end since we are concatenating we can concatenate uh you know n number of strings uh or this is also get this will get evaluated as string so yeah so dot md okay so this is our file name which we made and then what i did is i ran find file and instead of giving the actual string of name i'm using the set key variable file name and then what i did is so you know what happened when you run file uh, find file it will open the file buffer so i just ran insert and then i'm concatenating again this text and then again some you know date time string and blah 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 all right so basically what this will do let me just show you uh, so if i evaluate this so it will just print out this thing this thing okay so let me just add a next line here so 
so if i evaluate this it will print out this okay so why i'm doing all this what, what what's all this okay so let me just evaluate this function and let me just type log diary from here okay and voila so i got a file created and notice this is not saved file this is a new file and it, uh, it as you can see it contains some title and everything so this is just a markdown file so i am making a tutorial about uh, elitz okay so what happened actually is if i go to code uh, website content diary so i have a diary here and this file i this is a previous file so right now what we have is this file and it's not saved so i'm going to save it and do ls again so as you can see we got this file this new file here and if i go back here and type zola serve so zola is just a static site generator and if i go to my diary so actually i <laughs> this is the second time i'm recording so we got two entries here okay so this is cool like if i am you know if i'm just sitting and i'm doing something i'm playing some game i just have to type log diary all right and every time i type this it will like run this function it will just you know quickly give me a buffer which is not saved so suppose if i forgot to write something or if i missed something up i just press control k and this will you know just delete the buffer and it will not get created like like basically the file won't get created so if i successfully write something then i'll save it and it will come to my website so this is how you can use elisp learn few things and then you know just uh, practice it and i learned a lot of advanced stuff too like how to iterate over list i i don't know if it's advanced for me it is okay so but it's quite fun learning the elisp and um, sharing it with you is also very fun so yeah that's it for this video and there is you know uh, in the end of the video if you stayed then there is a bonus for you which is a really nice bonus okay so i was just uh, i just learned something really good which i just want to tell you before going so this is just a base.html file and there is this really cool feature i never knew in emacs so it's not a feature it's a function describe mode so you just have to run describe mode and what happen is it will give you this buffer here and in this buffer uh, you can see all the enable like all the minor modes which are en enabled and you can also see the major mode so web mode is enabled in this buffer and you can see all the key bindings and the functions so for example you can basically learn about any mode which is currently running uh, on your buffer so for example this key binding if i run this control cf it will fold my html so this is quite i mean why never why nobody ever told me about this like i mean this is so good like control xf and i can learn so many new things from here i i actually did for example control cl if i type control cl uh, and go to like static and then images and then free bsd watch and look it automatically created you know like so i did this with a lot of the modes like for example maggot and i learned the key bindings so it's so simple like previously i was going to the documentation and stuff but i now know why people say emacs is self-documenting so this is cool okay i love emacs and thanks for watching tell me if you want more videos okay